Here's BCIT's newest food option, juice. One of the few things the new food guide recommends limiting, along with meat and dairy. So, how much does the Canadian Food Guide impact food on campus? Talking to BCIT Eats District Manager Meb Zalani, plant-based options are readily available. Options, vegan options, are all getting, uh, grows every year in terms of the needs. We find more Muslims are looking for that. So we're trying to make sure that every one of our stations has an option where, where you, could, you could go vegetarian or go more, go more plant-based. But the actual choice, the eventual choice is for the guest. They can choose whether they want that or not. We can't force it up for themselves. BCIT does surveys and takes food recommendations, but the best way students can show their support is voting with their dollar. So far, students have been doing just that. Meat-based food like Triple O's is losing business to their greener competitors. To get a sense of the campus mindset, we spoke to students. For me, I would say it doesn't matter. I'm pretty neutral. Like, I think there should be some more healthier options because all we have is like a Triple O's and like Tim Hortons. Like, you know, so we have something that like won't make us gain 10 pounds by the end of it. BCIT does not explicitly endorse the Canadian Food Guide. At the end of the day, the students dictate the market, steering towards less dairy, meat, and juice. If students continue to create a demand for plant-based foods, options will keep sprouting up.